Where is my mind? How come I can't remember? I feel so weary, like I've been on a long journey. When will I remember? Again. Maybe in this next city someone will know me. Maybe. Why am I here? What's going on? Welcome to the illustrious Misty Town Jail, stranger. You're not from around these parts, are you? No, I am not. The name that they call me is Fred. They call you Fred? What is your real name? I can't seem to remember any other. I have no memory. I lost my memory four years ago. Mm, that's a tough break. I'll call you Fred. I got a memory. People call me Anthony. Welcome to the Misty Town Prison. They'll let you out soon enough. What are you doing here? Me? I'm a regular. I get blamed for everything by the lord of the town. Even things I... didn't do. Let me out of here! Take it easy. You think you'll fare better out there than in here? Is that what you think? What do you think? Mm, I think it's all the same. What's that? It's what you're wishing for. It's the key to the cell, traveler. Anthony, who are you? Like I told you, I'm the regular. Oh man, it works. He isn't here, is he? Damn. Hey. What? How about a little freedom? Skip it.
This place is hazardous to my health. I gotta get out of here. Don't move. Leaving us already? But you just got here. Sweating like a pig. You threw me in prison, punk! Why did you do that? Did I do that? Ugh. I'm the infamous Lord Gordon. Perhaps you've heard of me. This is my estate, my town. I didn't catch the name, friend. I didn't throw it, friend. Perhaps you should be a little more polite. It may affect your health. My name is Fred. Fred, tell me about that crescent tattoo on your forehead. Don't ask. You don't want to tell me? I lost my memory, perhaps my mind. I don't know anything about this tattoo. You're right, Zabu. Of course. There's quite a legend in this town. What kind of legend? There exists a place that's free of death and aging, an intriguing place where all dreams come true, the City of Moons. What does the City of Moons have to do with me? I will tell you. Those who enter it and then return here are marked with a crescent tattoo on their heads. Does that make any sense, Fred? I'm such a man. I'm telling you nothing. But should you find your path to the City of Moons, perhaps you'll regain your mind and save your life. I'm tired of him, Jade. Yes, sir. Tough luck, stupid. Better luck next time. Isn't there anything or anybody to help me recover my mind or my memories? And even if I do, will I ever break free of this weird town? And Lord Gordon? My lord. What, Sal? Do you really believe in the City of Moons? Or is it all just a game to you? It's all a game, whether it's real or imagined. I don't care whether or not the young man finds the City of Moons or even if it exists. All I know is that life is droll and conflict hastens blood. to the prison rat, Anthony. He's a strange duck, isn't he? A real fruitcake.
Fred. I'm the traveler. A traveler, eh? I'm Dr. Morse, and I don't have any use for travelers. I'm Lord Gordon's personal physician, so I don't take appointments. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Scrap heap. The former owner pissed Lord Gordon off. You're kidding. Nope. Set the torch myself. Nice work, huh? I like a good fire. Warms the soul. <laughs> Complete painting. The burnt painting remains. A silver chalice. I'm a traveler. Call me Fred. I'm Hannah. The inn is closed. Good luck, traveler. on these windmills. Yeah, pretty good business. A town with no wind, don't you think? doesn't have any flowers on it.
do you want? My name is Fred. I am a traveler. Oh, a traveler. Well, I'm Mac. I'm very fond of clocks. Seen any good timepieces lately? Not me. I've got all the time in the world. <clears throat> Go away. I have no respect for a man who has no respect for time. That old man there has his head inside the clocks. Give him a nice watch and he's in pig heaven. The doc has a pretty tasty watch, doesn't he? Hey, if the old man sees it, that'll be fun. be the traveler yes I am Fred the traveler hi Fred my name is Rose this here is little Hal cool a real traveler mom I'm gonna be a traveler one day perhaps one day you will Hal but right now we're here to serve Lord Gordon okay Let's get today's flowers ready. Lord Gordon likes fresh flowers in the mansion. Nice meeting you, Fred. Something you like in here? Yeah, the flowers. Well, go ahead and take one. The rest are for Lord Gordon. See you. sad. It must be lonely here without any flowers. It's gone! What's going on here? I, uh, I just wanted to place a flower on this grave. And it just disappeared, didn't it? Why, uh, yes. Sweet Louisa's grave. My daughter, every day I put a flower there, and every day it disappears. I didn't ask your name yet. Fred. I'm a traveler. Why don't you come around to my house later? We'll talk. Okay? Okay. All right. See you later. Thanks, 
for the flower, Fred. I see you came after all, Fred. What are you doing here? I lost my memory four years ago. I'm searching for my past. I have no idea who I am. But I'm sure someone in this town must know me. You seem desperate. I was told that if I don't find the City of Moons, I'll lose my life. Hmm, it must be Gordon. Yes. He destroyed my daughter. Gordon? Yes. Four years ago, he decided he wanted her for his wife, but she hated him, so she disappeared. Did he kill her? Gordon said it was a suicide, but her grave is empty. At least that's what he told me. That's horrible. Yes, it is. Maybe somehow we can help one another. You look tired. Stay here. Fred! What? Who's that? Fred! Who are you? No! Wait! Someone in this town... actually knows my name? You look lousy, Fred. I know that look. Too much City of Moons on your mind, kind of like chasing windmills. A man with no memory knows all about chasing windmills, doesn't he? Start at the gate of the wind. People looking for the City of Moons use flour to find the gate. Check out the windmill. You can't miss it, that's where you'll find the flower. You'll find a key to the windmill in my house. Take it. Good luck.
If the blades don't spin, I won't be able to get the flower. All I need is for the wind to blow. I might find something if I go up there. It's taller than I thought. It's no good. I'll get it. I... Uh. You show your true colors. You show weakness. I'm doing okay. I'm doing fine. How long can you keep your spirits up? You must know that you have no chance against Lord Gordon. Since his bride took off four years ago, he has no feelings. I know all about that. You. Welcome to my home. Much better than prison. Yes. Perfect specimens, each and every one. I suppose butterflies are God's creatures. Each one contains the soul of a reincarnated human. Really? Human spirits that are pure return as butterflies. How lovely to collect and preserve them. I learned much about nature through this work. Does all this sound strange to you? Please. Come visit my house whenever you like. You're all right, Fred. Those carried from the city of moons shall have their sins washed in the sacred spring. Every four years the tower gate opens and the blessed ones guide the others to the city of moons. Are you interested in that book? Uh, yes. I too have my mind on the city of moons. 
Take anything in the room that will help you in your quest. Goodbye. This is not a house key. Tree sap's very good. It'll make plants grow fast. I usually use it to get butterflies. Well, hello, Fred. Hello, Rose. Perhaps you can tell me about the City of Moons. Ah, the City of Moons. Of course, now there's a place. It's the place of everyone's fantasy. It certainly is mine. What a dream place to live. Just fantastic. If you ever find it, please let me know. Hal and I will go with you. for the City of Moons. City of Moons? I heard of that. Way cool. You gotta take me with you. I really don't know if it's even real, Hal. Hmm. But if it is, you gotta take me with you. Promise? Goodbye.
the attractive traveler again. I need to find the City of Moons. What do you know of it? Ah, the City of Moons. The stuff that dreams are made of. Here even the littlest child knows of it. The doctor is out. The office is closed. I've got to fill a special order for Lord Gordon by tomorrow morning. His medicine contains a special herb I've got to find. Special herb? Yes, it's harder and harder to find these days. See you. So this is the special herb the doctor is looking for. Those look like the herbs Doc Morse was looking for. You again? What do you want? I'm busy. Oh my! Special herb? Where was it? I can prepare a medicine for Gordon. So sorry you have to be going now. Wait a minute! Here's a little token of my esteem.
Yep, no respect. Hey, that's a tasty timepiece. <laughs> How about making a little trade? Okay, no respect. <laughs> now you're talking. How about some precious oil? Worth a lot? Anywhere? You bet. <laughs> oh, yes. You again? What do you want? I'm busy. I'm looking for information concerning the City of Moons. The City of Moons? Everyone's secret little fantasy. Please tell me anything you know about it. What I know is this. Somewhere around here is a freshwater spring surrounded by ruins. It has something to do with getting you to the City of Moons. It's all I know. Thanks very much. Hey, dude. What's up? Any luck? No. Well, when you're stupid and slow, and ain't got no mind. Times are tough. But Gordon likes that. So you and Gordon are playing with my mind. It's a dirty job, but someone's got to do it. But hey, good luck to you. Hi, Fred. Oh, hello, Hannah. Still looking for your city of moons? Lot of talk about that these days. Actually, there was another traveler here once. Attractive like you. And strange. What do you mean, strange? Always talking about hidden ruins at the bottom of a well. Ruins, huh? But Lord Gordon found out. Who knows what happened to him? You know, the season of the wind is almost upon us. The season of the wind? Yes. 
In the misty town, the wind blows once every four years. A good strong wind is very rare here. It's part of what the town's about. A good strong wind brings trouble, and lots of it. Brings trouble, huh? Yeah. Come to think of it, the wind was blowing when Gordon's bride disappeared. Something about seeing you makes me think of my daughter Louise. I've got the City of Moons on my mind, too. You know, if it's really there, if you can really reach it, maybe things could have been different for her. Maybe she could have been saved. Oh, Fred, thinking about all these things makes me melancholy. I'm tired. I've got to lie down. Give me a little time to myself. Excuse me. grow flowers because the well is all dried up in this town. Really? Yes, it hasn't always been like that in the Misty Town. There used to be plenty of water here until the well dried up. Misty Town? Yes. Funny name for a town without water. Kind of ironic, isn't it? Oh! 
Oh, hi there. I'm off to fix Lord Gordy's clock. Don't want to mess with that, man. Uh, see you later, Fred. By the way, that oil I gave you is hot stuff. Fixes anything that rusts. Use it well and you won't be sorry. Try not to sell it. Hi, Rose. Still looking for the City of Moans? Uh-huh. I would like to help you, but I do not know anything about the City of Moans. I'm not surprised. Well, there's something about the Crimson Earth. It comes from a red soil in the City of Moans. Every once in a while, you can find it around here. Really, Rose? Where? I'm sorry. I don't know. So am I. I wish I could help you, Fred. Really. You again? What do you want? I'm busy. Do you know anything about the Crimson Earth? I know nothing about that. Sorry, I can't help you. Please leave. Getting lonesome for me? You give a woman ideas, traveler. You must tell me about the City of Moons, Anna. And the Crimson Earth. Do you think if I knew anything about it, I'd be wasting my time in this broken down joint? When you find it, take me away with you, big boy. Again. Now, what do you want? Tell me about the Crimson Earth. Crimson Earth? You mean the stuff used in paint? Really? In paint? Oh, yes. The Crimson Earth is pure magic, young man. If you heat up Crimson Earth in a silver chalice, it becomes pure Crimson Earth. You seem pretty sure of yourself. Everybody in this town is pretty sure about getting to the City of Moons.
I wonder if there is crimson earth in this. Crimson Earth. I can see what's down there. There's no way I'll get over that wall. Hey! There are plants here. Anthony said that this stuff would make plants grow faster. Just a fairy tale. What the? Wow. What a trip. pretty badly.
This is a dead end. There is no door. Mm. I feel the breeze. I wonder where it's coming from. This must be the ruins in the spring, back when the city was covered in mist. Clean, clear water must have flowed here. Hmm. Water. There's still some water left at the bottom. If this is the sacred spring, then... If the book is right, this ought to take me to the City of Moons. Aw, oh, damn. <laughs> Hiya, stupid. You? Gordon says this is the end of the road for you. So long, sucker. Crimson Earth, Red Mist. Sweet Louise. What? The Traveler has found the way to the City of Moons. The real game begins. You! Damn you! All those touched by the mist will be carried forth into the City of Moons. Wait! Traveler! Wait! There is no door in this room. Strange. What's the deal with the picture? Oh boy. Whoa. 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 What a trip. It's wild. Oh. What? Whoa. Unusual. 
place. Why do you keep repeating the same thing over and over? Huh? Welcome to the city of moons, a doomed city. Doomed? Why? How is it doomed? This you already know, Brad. Wait a minute! What did she mean? You have just met Ray. She is here as a spirit protector. Who are you? I am Meg. Meg, what is my purpose here? Why does Ray know about me? What am I supposed to do? You know many things. Important things. Every four years a chosen one passes into the city of moons from the real world. But this time many people enter. Too many people. What do you mean? Many people from the Misty Town have been transported here, this time. Oh no. The Red Mist. Yes, the city cannot survive with too many souls. What are we going to do, Fred? They must go back to the real world, so they and the city can survive. But there is danger here. Powerful forces that prevent easy passage back. An easier, safer way must be found. A riddle must be answered. Hurry, Fred! No, wait! You have been here before, Fred. You and you alone know the answers. You must make it safe. For everyone! Have I ever been here before? I don't remember. So this is the city of moons. It looks different. Traveler, what's going on? Where the hell am I? You're in the City of Moons. City of Moons? Can't be! Are you sure? I am. What a joke. Get me out of here! Fred, wait! Don't let him out! Don't let out the doctor! Is that you? If you let him out, he will die. It is the shadow in the room which keeps him alive. If you let him out, the doctor will die. What do I do? There's a way to save him. A way you must find. Meg! She's disappeared again.
protect you. What do you mean? Towers in this city have feelings. Some of them hate the smell of human beings. doesn't appear to be a key. Traveler. When I was young, I used to dream of traveling to this place. I never thought it would end like this. At least I'm not in pain. At least there is peace. Maybe at my age, this is the best one could hope for. Maybe this is the end of the journey. Pretty sad, eh, Traveler? Mac, don't feel sad for me, Traveler. Time does not respect tears. I know you have to crumble me to pass through this door. Go ahead, break me. Oh, Mac, isn't there some other way? With this, you'll become flesh.
be careful. I warn you, do not touch the door or you'll turn to stone as I did. The axe. I'll use the axe on the door. Open! Hi, you stupid. You're looking chesty. What are you doing here? I don't like friends of mine traveling alone. I was with you, remember? Talk to that hag ghost lady. Ray? Well, apparently only one person at a time can enter the City of Moons. Because of us, this world will be doomed soon. Not necessarily. What can we do? Ah, uh, good question. I'll kill the Riff Raff. One by one. Starting with you. You bastard. Not that. Time to die, Fred. alive. That could have been me. I could have died. Little Meg said this perfume would protect me. Maybe it'll protect me from this killer carpet.
release the butterflies that are asleep in the four towers and then go to the central tower of the moon. There you will find the passage back to the real world. Take everyone through that passage. Return to your world. What a lousy artificial room. Well, what do we have here? I believe it's a sign telling me to rule. City of moons, eh? City of fools. <laughs> feather to fly with the wind? I've got no choice but to try it. It's in the hands of fate.
I have done it. What a strange place for a room. I feel a presence. It looks like someone's inside there. Hmm. Hey, Fred. Oh, Fred. Are you all right? Where are we? The City of Moons. I didn't believe it at first, but the Red Mist, it must have carried us here. How'd you get into the room, Fred? My mom and me couldn't get out of here at all. This is an awful place. This is an awful room. It shakes something fierce like it's going to crumble. Please, save us, Fred. Use this feather. It's the only way. This will help us get out of here? Really? Yes. I used the feather to get here. Well, if you say so. I'm with you. Mom, I'll protect you. Yes, you will. I have to trust someone, so I'm going to trust you. I have to. You're my brave little man. We'll do it together, dear.
This makes two. There is no place for one like you in the city of the Who are you? This land of peace and purity. You will leave on your own or be banished from this place. We'll see about that. There are forces of good here. There is no way your evil will win here in the city of Moon. Oh, there are forces of good which will conspire to defeat me, eh? That's a good one. I haven't heard a joke that funny in a long time. <laughs> You're a fool. A fool, huh? I'll show you what kind of fool I am. Yeah! What? There is no way you could bring harm to an ethereal being like me. I am the protector of this city. And I will keep it safe from the likes of you. You think so, huh? The City of Moons will fall. I told you to let me out of here! I'll let you out, but you're going to have to take this. It'll save your life. Huh? What is this? A sacred jewel. It'll protect you. 
a jewel to protect me? What are you, nuts? It'll put a couple of bucks in my pocket, but it won't save my life. I'm saying it will. Rules are different here, Doc. Whatever you want, just get me out of here. I'll open it. Well, it's about time you open the damn door. Here I am in the City of the Moons, trapped in a room. You know, I kind of like this stone. Maybe I'll keep it. Who knows? Whatever, I'll figure something out. See you. You know, I feel calm holding this stone. You'll get no thanks from hey, me, though. where are you going? I've got a lot to say. No, wait. Punk like you, giving orders, get lost. the third. Only one left. Where is this? And still they come. Who said that? We have no room in this city for humans like you. How dare you? Do not show me your face of false indignation, woman. You work for the evil one, and neither of you are welcome here. Lord Gordon is a great and a powerful man. What Ray said is true. This seed will destroy illusion. Is this an illusion? It 
was an illusion. Oh, Hannah! Fred, is that you? Are you okay? No, I'm not okay. Get me out of here! Before I do, let me give you this. What is it? A seed? If something strange appears in front of you, eat the seed. Okay, but get me out of here. City of Moons. The City of Moons? You're out of your mind, Fred. Maybe. Hannah! Hannah! What's going on? It's not real. City of the Moons is rough. Oh, I found this. It was in the cell. Maybe you can use it. Butterflies are released. Go from the three o'clock tower to the Tower of Judgment, then the path to the Tower of Moons will be opened. Ah, another gaudy room. This place has the most astonishing butterflies I've ever seen anywhere. Anthony, this city will be doomed soon. We must make our escape right now.
Escape what? The most perfect place in the universe? Nonsense. I'm never leaving here.
But then Louise met you, a traveler, and you loved each other immediately. But you didn't stand a chance against Gordon. But then you heard of a city of moons, your only hope to save your one true love. Yes. You fled together, finding crimson earth, mixing it with water from the spring of mist and drank it. It was then crimson earth. It brought you both to the city of moons. But then trouble. The mist containing the crimson earth engulfed Misty Town and carried many souls here. Too many souls. More than one soul entering every four years drove up our psychic balance causing turmoil for all of us. That is why you left Louise and returned to the real world. You sacrificed your love to preserve the City of Moons. I did that? I was brave? I saved my love in the City of Moons? But you suffered. When you returned to the real world, you had lost your mind, your memory of all things you had done and cared about, a great sacrifice. But still, she waits for you. Well, isn't this interesting? Everyone all together, rehashing old time. Gordon, I knew you'd find you weren't an ordinary traveler, but I'm disappointed you discovered your one true love. She turned my heart to stone. Fascinating. The cemetery, isn't it? I no longer care about her or you or anything to do with this world. And you can stand as a statue of stone for an eternity next to your one true love. Watch your every step. He's crazy. You think you can defeat me so easily? You do not have what it takes to beat someone like me. I will conquer all. And the City of Moons will be mine. Over my dead body will this city be ruled by you! <laughs> Who do you think you are? You have no past, no present, or future. Unable to affect change in any world. And certainly not this one. Against me. It is 
done. Fred! have passed. Somehow, I have returned to the real world while retaining my memory. I remember everything clearly. The memories of those mysterious times are etched into my mind. Today, I will visit Misty Town to see if the people have returned safely. I have been worrying about them. 
for the last four years. It's beautiful. And I remember what a journey I had four years ago. Well, hello there. Are you a traveler or does it even matter? As you can see, no one has stayed here for a long time. You know, I have the strangest feeling I've seen you before. Isn't that funny? Sounds a little like a line. Mm -hmm. But I really mean it. Welcome, stranger. Hey, cool! There's a new guy in town. When I grow up, I want to be a traveler like him. Perhaps you will, Hal. Are you not feeling well? Perhaps you have travel sickness. Well, you've come to the right place. Don't you worry. I'm an excellent doctor and I can take good care of you. Well, welcome, welcome. You must be a traveler. Yes, well, you're certainly a stranger here in town. A lot of people are looking for the city of moons these days. Well, me, I like it here. Oh my, look at the time. <laughs> I'm late. Time flies. Oh, it's you. Do you remember me, Anthony? Of course I remember. We lived quite an adventure together. What a shame that such a magical world has been destroyed. My one regret is that I'll never see such perfect butterflies ever again. I am hopeful, though, of the fantastic promise Fred and Louise made to me. What promise? What promise did Fred and Louise make? To rebuild that perfect world and make it perfect once again. A place where souls can soar and hearts are pure. A place where dreams come true and even I can become the most perfect and most beautiful butterfly anyone has ever seen. This will happen, Fred. I know it. Oh, by the way, do I still call you Fred? 